Hi everyone, it's Rick here from The Game Creators. Welcome to this latest video showing the latest alpha of App Game Kit Studio. This is available to anyone who's pre-ordered App Game Kit Studio, so you can download it from our servers right now. So what's changed? Well, some of the scene properties that were over here on the right hand side have been moved over into the scene manager. You can see things like the scene gravity and the physics walls. So now they're located there. One of the big changes is that we now support both virtual resolution and percentage based resolutions. We have a little tick box here which turns you into percentage mode, tick off again and you're back into virtual resolution mode. So some people prefer percentage, so that's how simple it is to set up. Let's just take a look. This guy here and scale him. You can see that the values of the X and Y position are showing as a percentage. So if we do 0% in the X, it goes right across there. But of course if we do 50%, it's right in the middle. And the same would apply to the Y. And then you could scale 50-50% and is exactly one quarter size of the screen. So everything, including the physics, will use percentage system if you prefer to use that method of calculating where sprites are and how they behave. The media files list will update if you change to a different project. So if I select this project, you'll see that this window updates. Uh, in the past, it wasn't doing that. Also new in this version are updates to text, virtual buttons and edit boxes. Let's have a look at what's changed. So for add text, there we are, we can just quickly add a text and you can see now there are fonts. This font has been added to this scene. Um, how do you add a font to a scene? Well, you find the media you want, a TTF font, for example, drag it into the scene and the font will appear here. So all we need to do is change the font used by this text object like so. Scale it a bit bigger. There we are. Real simple, very flexible. You can also rotate a text object now, so if you wanted to make it 90 degrees. Now, this slide is good, but sometimes a bit hard to get exactly where you want it. So you press Control and click, you can type in and get the exact size you want. Like so. Virtual buttons. Let's add a virtual button. Okay, let's say there's a button on the screen. Now it's got the default up and down image associated with it, but now you can give it a different image, like so. Let's just rescale this to fit. There we are, we'll just play that. See the text and click on there, and you can see that the virtual button's responding. And for edit boxes, again you've got more properties you can set. Size them like that. Then you can do things like change the background, so maybe a darker background for the screen. Text color, have a lighter color. Uh, the border color, you can change that. Then you know, things like the border size and so on, and the cursor size. Uh, you've got things like multi-lines or wrap mode, uh, password mode. So you've got all those extra features now that you can use and edit within Studio. Remember, if you order now in April, you'll get a 40% discount. You'll be able to download the alpha builds and start using App Game Studio today. Okay, that's it for today. See you in the next video. Bye.